Hey guys, it's Eric. Yeah, yesterday Apple held their annual iPod update conference, that's what I call it, but usually September's the time where they release new iPod updates and stuff. So, that'll be kind of cool. Well, they released iTunes 10, so I downloaded that last night, and it came with a social network called Pain. Yep. P-I-N-G. Pain. It basically shows you what you're buying on iTunes, like who you're following, what's your favorite artist, all that stuff. It's not a website though, it's built into iTunes. Oh yeah, and speaking of iTunes, they changed your logo. CDs are being overrun by digital downloads off iTunes and Napster and all that. Um, the, I the iTunes logo, um, Apple got rid of the CD and the iTunes logo. Now it's just, um, this. See? Well, I don't have much problems with it. It's fine. They're releasing a new iPod Shuffle and a new iPod Nano and a new iPod Touch. Let's see. The iPod Touch is going to have FaceTime over Wi-Fi. Um, it'll have a front-facing camera. That's what FaceTime is used for, basically. Um, take HD pictures, HD video. It'll have the Retina display, the um, A4 chip. The Retina display and A4 chip are in the iPhone, and the A4 chip is in the iPad. That'll be kind of nice, but I don't plan on buying one. It's going to be pretty expensive, so... Oh, the new iPod Nanos. Take a look. Does that just look awesome? It's just ridiculous. It's a very small multi-touch screen. It's smaller than the iPod Nanos screen right now. Well, I probably won't buy one, because I have an iPod Classic, and, um... Apple did not release any updates to the iPod Classic, but they are not discontinuing it. We'll just have to wait till next year for any updates. And the new iPod Shuffle is basically a hybrid between the old iPod Shuffle and the new one. Yeah, just take a look for yourself. Eh, nothing special. I probably won't buy it. Along with new software for iTunes, there's also new software for iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. We got sneak peeks at iOS 4.1 and iOS 4.2. Um, iOS 4.1 will be coming in October, I think. And iOS 4.2 will be coming in November. And iOS 4.2 is for the iPad, so multitasking and folders on the iPad. F sweet. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. It's finally going to come in November, and I'll be glad to wait that long. That's what iPad needs, multitasking and folders. Oh yeah, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying my reviews of The Last Exorcism and Piranha 3D. The Last Exorcism review was unexpected, but I thought it was unnecessary since I liked it so much. I'll leave links for both of those down there. So that's pretty much all I got to say in this vlog. See you later.